And so for you, sending her away to a boot camp would is be a, the answer. Is the answer. I asked uh, Tanya just now, is she in with a bad crowd? And what did you say to me? I said she is the bad crowd. She's, <laughs> she's, she's the one who um, is, quote unquote, the leader of, of the group. intimidation and... Now, let's, let's talk about her. You say that she was really a great kid. She was very well behaved until the past summer. What Best happened? kids you can ask for. Well, one day, out of nowhere, she just, she went out and got in a fight. Uh, she punched the girl in the face, broke the girl's jaw in three places. <laughs> the girl, um, she was, as a mother, you know, Sally, that we can only um, ground our children or, you know, sure. that's, we have no, no rights. Um, so I grounded her. So her, her answer was to run away. She ran away and she got drunk the day she ran away and she lost her virginity. Right. And I just found this out myself. And um, How old is she? She's 14. 14 years Up until old. a week ago, I thought my daughter was a virgin. This happened seven months ago. Natasha drinks, skips schools, joy rides with guys, never tells mom where she's going, has no respect for herself, always gets in fights, and when she runs away, she runs away to be with older boys? She ran away to an older boy's house, got drunk and lost her virginity. Took off, right. went to the state. First she was gone for three days, I couldn't find her. And never called home? Ne never, never said nothing. She went to a, a, a state fair, which is really big. I looked for her, had the state troopers after her, had the police after her, we couldn't find her. She was gone. You say that she's very sexually active. What's she doing? Well, are you, for instance, New Year's Eve, um, I left her home for three hours, babysitting my younger children. I went to dinner, dinner. She had a boy in the house and she had sex in my house. In your bed? In my house. Did her brother know that she was doing this? He was awake and watching TV in his bedroom and he thought that she was just listening to the radio in her room with this boy. And I also have a seven-year-old daughter and a three-year-old son who was sleeping and could have woke up at any time. She t you know, we could have came in at any time. She knew we weren't going to be gone for long. How does Natasha feel about what's going on? <laughs> Natasha, I don't think she cares. I mean, she has, she has little brothers and sisters who look up to her and they're, they're going to turn out just like her. She couldn't care. She's 14. All right, let's, let's hear from Natasha's 14-year-old daughter. <laughs> mother wants nothing to do with your sister? Um, she's basically washed her hands of it. She's, washed her hands. Yeah. Mother, uh, Amy <laughs> says mother ignores all the bad things that Emily does, refused to be here today to talk about it. So you're the only adult in her life who will try to straighten her out? Um, pretty much. I feel like I'm the only person that's... What is she doing that's wrong? Um, Emily is drugging. She's drinking. She's Staying out all hours of the night, sleeping around. Um, she quit school. She's kind of like a vampire. She'll um, she'll sleep all day long and then get up when she it starts. She fights getting... all the time. Yeah. Pulled a knife on uh, mom's boyfriend. Yeah. Sleeps with three guys a week. Steals. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's have her come on out. Emily, come on out. <laughs> You get that shirt, right? <laughs> what does the shirt mean? Sick. That's the attitude. Okay. Are you are you sick? Huh? Are you sick? Got a dementia mind. All right. Are you out of control? Sure am. Why? Why? Because uh -huh. life is short and I'm gonna do whatever I want. Okay. Are, yeah, but when are, you're are, my age, are you, you tough? Am I tough? Yeah. I've taken a police report out. I told the police straight up. 
If you find my body murdered, that's the first suspect you better look at. Your daughter. My daughter. Do you really believe that your daughter would try to kill you? She has said she would stick a knife in my heart when I'm sleeping. Um, she's run away ten times on me. She was gone for, she's my only child. She was gone for three and a half months. I didn't know where she was. I thought I'd lose my mind. Um, then she, in between that three and a half months, Mother's Day falls, right? She thinks it's funny to get with a friend of hers and call my house and tell me mama on the telephone and then hang up. And I don't know where she's been for three and a half months. I got the police call my house. They say, uh, hello, Miss Moore. We have your daughter in custody. Keep her. that all her running away has actually caused you to need counseling. Have you been to counseling? I, I went to counseling. I tried to pit PJ in it, but every time we do, she's out the door. She's out the window. She's gone. <laughs> but I went because, like I said, I thought I'd lose my mind. Sure. You know what? It takes Prozac to get out of bed in the morning. Three days I laid up in that bed. I only got up. You'd think I wouldn't clean my house, but I do. I got up and I cleaned that house. But I, and all I could think about my whole life was wrapped up in that spoiled brat. Yeah, I she understand. is self-centered, narcissistic, self-absorbed. She only wants to be out there running with her friends. She don't want me to say, oh, no, come home, you know, change your clothes, do this, do that. I don't want to listen to you. How old is PJ? PJ just turned 16, and she was sitting in detention when she turned it. And then she wants me to come out there and visit her? No way! She spent Thanksgiving in detention, and now, she wanted me to get her out. But and she's all crying on the phone. Mom, come and get me. I said, Look, I didn't place you there. <laughs> all right. How compared to the other two girls, how tough is PJ? Uh, uh, PJ can get pretty doggone scary. Let me tell you. Thank you. <laughs> she she is. All right, let's have her come on out. PJ, come on out. <laughs> Your well, mother has clothes. filed a report with the police that says if she's killed, you killed her. Would you ever hurt your own mother? Yeah, if it came down to it. You'd hurt your own mother? Yeah, if it came down to it, I don't care. PJ, you got a pretty big mother that I wouldn't mess with if I was you. <laughs> Tina, the show was called All She Wants to Do Is Have Sex. Take a look at this. This summer, you ran away to be a prostitute. No, I didn't run away to be one. I did, did not run away to be one. I ran away, and, and I looked at this. I had a full-time job, and I, looked, I came home every night, and my feet were tired. I could, I'm tired, okay? So I looked, hey! I looked at it this way. If you're gonna go out, you, I'm gonna go out. I can get money for something I'd love to do. I do I'm good at, so why not? <laughs> Tammy, what's been going on with your daughter since we saw you last? Well, um, she's run away three times since then. She's been gone for a period of two to three weeks at a time. She's been arrested for the possession of crack cocaine. She, um, she's running around with these 25, 30 year old men. She won't even think of going out with a boy her own age. Uh, she's just stealing. You know, she's quit school. She ain't in school. She's supposed to take a GED, but she doesn't want to take it Saturday. She wants to party. So it's just, it's, it's gone from bad to worse have, to worse. Did we have any effect on her whatsoever? Any effect? Unfortunately, um, I don't believe so. None. It, she, she uses the tape to brag. She uh, used the tape to brag. I keep in touch with the other mothers, and both their girls came out of it good. Mine didn't. Uh, she calls you names. What does she call you? Uh, well, it's somewhat embarrassing, and I don't know if I can even say it on TV, but she, uh, I'm not her mother. I don't know where she feels she came from, because she, she'll tell me I'm not her mother. I'm a fat, toothless old son of a bitch, is what she calls me. This is Tina's famous... How does that make you feel? Well, it hurts. It really, you know, 
to look at her, and this is supposed to be my, you know, this is my daughter. This is supposed to be someone that loves me. And Tina could care if I was to, you know, fall off this stage, break my neck, and die. She'd be happy because she'd get to fly home alone. Okay, I think it's time we heard from Tammy's uh, daughter, Tina, once again. Tina, come on out. Honey, I ain't gonna bite with everybody that Texas has already had their mouth on. Tina, your mother is upset. She says you're still up to your old tricks. What happened to the red glasses? I got into a fight and I broke them. Okay. Why are you still behaving this way? What? Why are you behaving this way? Why are Excuse you, me. Why are you behaving this way? Because it's my life and I can do what I want with my life. This woman has raised me, okay? I'm not saying she did a good job. I'm not saying she did a bad job. Oh, yeah. Worse than the other guests. What was she doing that was so bad? Well, it's been going on for a couple of years, but it's like she crossed this big threshold when she turned 16. Mm -hmm. uh, Two drugs, things you're hearing here, right? Right. Drug, sex, and rock and roll. <laughs> and Expulsion. Mentally suspension. abusive to the whole family. <laughs> have you turned your life around? Yes, I have. What, it, what made you turn your life around? Um, let's see. Um, it just like hit me one day, you know, it's different for all people, you know, sure. it hit me one day that I just thought that um, I'm tired of living because it's it's so hard, you know, being bad, but it's so easy being good and I, I just right. What would you say to the other girls? They all think you're a wuss, but what would you say to them? Um, I didn't say you were a wuss. I didn't say nothing like that. Well, I, I've, I've been there. I've been, like, maybe you guys have been through more than I have. Maybe I've been through more. She uses a little different approach than uh, many of these girls, and frankly, the rest of us may be used to. This is Ms. Tiffany Young. She is the senior drill instructor for the Polk County Juvenile Boot Camp. Polk County is in Florida. a million questions. Well, you just shoot them at me. <laughs> Tell me what you guys are doing at the boot camp. Well, down there at Polk County, Florida, we have girls, a lot of girls, just like those sitting up there on that stage. And it's not all about being tough. But when you break the law, it's all about paying the consequences. <laughs> good choices. You make good choices, you get good consequences. You make bad choices, you get bad consequences. But the bottom line is, we all have to be responsible for our actions. Right. Now, how do, in your experience, why girls? Why are girls ending up this way? Well, I'm going to tell you and everybody else watching this show, it's not all about sugar and spice and everything nice for girls anymore. Okay, hey, girls are out there committing the crimes just like the boys are, and Polk County Juvenile Boot Camp is the only juvenile boot camp for girls in this country, and we need a hundred more just like it. Now, in order to get in order to get sent, how do they get sent to the boot camp? Because we got some mothers who are ready to sign up. Well, first of all, everything starts, everything has a beginning, and believe me, everything has an end. Everything starts with something small, and the girls start out doing little things, maybe disobeying their parents, maybe skipping school, and one thing leads to another. Eventually, they get put in the juvenile justice system, and when they get to level eight, which is boot camp, they have to come my way. And at Polk County,